Hello and welcome back to the Code's Legacy channel. In this video, we'll discuss how to properly structure your Python code when working with the PyTest library. There's a good chance that you've already tried factoring your code into different folders and stuff, and it hasn't gone very well. There are issues with the imports that's very common when working with PyTest. Now, the easiest way is to just keep everything in the same file or just to keep everything in the same directory. That's going to be very easy to manage. But the problem is that's not very efficient. It's not very organized. So that's why we want to make our, our, make our code look better. We want to make our code look more organized. Let me just show you that everything works currently. Okay, this is a game that I have. It has a bunch of different files. Okay, it's a platformer game. Okay, now I have all the tests written out for it by doing PyTest, I can have these tests run and we can verify that these tests execute. But I want to make this look better. I want to make a proper folder for all of my tests. I want to put the rest of my code in a separate folder. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, let's begin. So I'm going to create a new folder for tests. I'm going to put these two test files in there okay that's step one step two whoops no we're gonna create a new file called um, src or you can call it whatever src for source I'm just gonna put all of my other code files in here with the exception of the main.py file which is the driver code but now we have a few problems. This code is not going to work. If I click on the plus on the runner sign, code runner over here, it's not going to work. There's a uh, import issue and the pytest command isn't going to work either. Okay, because our imports are all messed up now. So how do we properly structure this? How do we properly manage our import statements? So the first thing that we need to do is to create an init.py file in the src and tests folder. Okay, if you're familiar with the packaging packages in Python, we need to put this file in a folder to make it capable of, you know, of having files imported by some other file. Because if I do main.py and I do src.platform, it's actually not going to work. Okay, src, this is how you, you know, kind of do folder wise imports src folder dot then the file name so that's how you can kind of do it but if the init.py file isn't there python will not recognize the src folder as a package okay it won't recognize it as a folder from which it can import python files so the init file is necessary okay even if it's empty okay so just do src over here src over there and another SR src over there so now if I click on the code runner sign, we can now execute our code, no. Okay, I'll tell you why. So we go over to platform and it turns out that platform, yeah, it's, it's platform. Platform imports the coin class. Okay, you might've seen those coins on the platforms. So that, that's what this is about. What we need to do here is to add a dot. Okay, literally, that's it. We just need to add these dots. And these kind of create that relative pathing that we need that's going to solve this issue. Okay, so watch this. If I click on the plus sign now, we still get an error, but it's from a different file. So the problem over there is now solved. So by putting this dot, again, it's properly importing it from its neighboring file, which is constants by dot py player dot py is importing constants dot py okay so just gonna close all that all the extra stuff now I'll run this code again and now finally it works okay so one thing we have fixed here is our ability to run the code normally now we need to see whether we can run it using pytest I hope so so if I do pytest no it doesn't work okay so why is this Let's go over to the tests.player file, okay? So again, we need to fix the imports here. So if I do src, 
dot player src dot constants okay and there's no init file in here let me show you what happens okay collisions collisions is importing from main so that's not going to be an issue okay so let's try running this again i think we'll still have an error yes we do okay so the reason why it can't find the src folder is currently because it's not it's not defined the test folder is not defined as a package what we need to do is create the init file in here dot py now it's defined as a package now the import statement is going to work okay this src is going to work src.player so now if i run pytest this should work and there we go our tests have now successfully completed i think that about covers it this is a pretty good format if you want to follow there are obviously easier ways of doing it you can just keep everything in the same file but again that's not very practical and i do not recommend it this is a pretty good format that you can follow for your projects all right see you guys in a later video